many electrons does an element need to have in your valence shell to be happy? Do you remember? Two or eight? Eight. My intern's name is Miss Tania Perez. What is the exception? Helium. The lesson, um, what the kids have been working on, so they were introduced to atoms and what this was kind of like an culminating activity where they're going to now start learning about ionic bonding, covalent bonding, and the connection on how elements bond together. Today's lesson was about the chemical compounds. And we also went over the, the combination of chemicals like when they have to, to basically, they have to combine in order to, to be more powerful. Well, in your model, you're Louis I like how she incorporates different things into the lesson to make it fun. Well, her lessons are different than other teachers because it's more hands-on. I tell her to never change how she's teaching and not to let other students affect how she feels. She is such a hard worker. She's very reflective. She wants to excel in the classroom and not necessarily for the grade, but for the kids. The kids love her. I'm going to have to work even harder in order to keep up with those activities that she's done because they absolutely love it. She's very creative and it's been a true honor to work with her. We're going to miss you because you've done a fabulous job. Just make sure you manage your space. <laughs>